Happy New Year. I uh, hope you all uh, have a lucky and uh, prosperous one. Uh, but meanwhile, we would like to discuss the UK manufacturing production, which will be out in about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, and as you can see, the forecast stands at 52.8, and the prior figure stands at 52.7. And um, uh, ahead of the figure, we have a comment from Howard uh, Archer of IHS uh, Global Insights, who says that the Manufacturing Purchasing Manager Survey uh, is likely to show modest overall expansion uh, in December, although it is unclear to what extent activity may have been affected by the flooding. Uh, specifically, they expect the Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index to have edged uh, back uh, further to 52.5 in December after dipping to 52.7 in November from uh, 55.2 in October, which had been the best performance since June 2014, and a sharp improvement from uh, 51.7 in September. Even so, this would result in the PMI averaging 53.5 in the first quarter, uh, which would be markedly above, um, uh, which would be markedly uh, uh, above the, uh, whoops, uh, sorry, my computer uh, doesn't really seem to work after the holiday. Uh, yes, so basically, uh, this would result in the PMI uh, uh, above the third quarter average of 51.8, uh, and clearly above the 50 level uh, indicates flat activity. Uh, let's move on. Uh, I have uh, I have prepared well, not really I, but the Bloomberg survey uh, summary according to the top. And economists to read on the matter from different banks and economic institutions says that the median estimate this time has reached 58, uh, 52.8. Uh, sorry, uh, average estimate uh, at 52.83, high estimate at 54.2, and low estimate at 51.9, whereas the number of estimates this time has reached uh, 23. Uh, and and uh, the Confederation of British Industries is uh, of the opinion that the improvement in the sector can be attributed to pick up in uh, export orders last month. Uh, the CBI has, however, warned that the sector is expected to suffer slight contraction in the next three months. Uh, the surveys conducted for October and November had showed that factory activities were being impacted by uh, stronger pound and volatile markets as they were weakening exports. Uh, the Bank of England survey is not very upbeat about the business conditions in December. The survey stat, uh, states manufacturing output growth has slowed, uh, reflecting weak demand and uh, export supply chains due to the sterling depreciation and sluggish global demand growth. Uh, the ONS revised down GDP growth in Q3 to 0.5. Uh, for a weaker uh, new data for business uh, service and financial sectors. And uh, market estimates uh, GDP grew to pick up uh, to uh, 0.6. And uh, the central bank in its, uh, in its de December NPC minutes mentioned indicators of activity in Q4 has suggested that growth would be uh, maintained at 80 and similar to that in Q4. Three. And that's pretty much it on the fundamentals. And then now it's time for Max to cover the technical. Thank you very much, Paulina. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, so speaking about the, uh, the technical part of this particular, the first beta release of the new year, uh, we have the positive surprise trading strategy today because the UK manufacturing PMI, as Paulina has just already mentioned, is expected to pick up slightly in December to 52.8 points uh, on average. Uh, at the same time, there are quite upbeat forecasts from uh, some separate financial institutions. Uh, for instance, Commerzbank expects the reading of 53.8 uh, points in December, while Santander Bank estimates uh, the indicator at 53.5 points. 
Uh, therefore, we have the positive trading strategy uh, today, especially considering that uh, the sentiment on the cable, which we are discussing right now, is very positive indeed at the moment. You can see that 65% of all positions are uh, bullish on the, on the UK currency, and the pound is also being bought in the majority of all the cases, if we take into account all the crosses of the uh, of this currency. Uh, speaking about the pending orders to buy or sell this particular currency pair, we see that at the moment they are quite uh, mixed uh, for, for the moment, so there is a, a bit a slight advantage of the sell orders of the uh, over the uh, buy ones, but that doesn't matter that much right now. Uh, speaking about the this trading strategy itself, as you can see, the cross is trading at 1.4773 level right now. There is a one-minute chart uh, you see uh, you see on the screen, uh, and uh, in the last couple of minutes, the pair has actually picked up slightly uh, by by some 15 to 20 pips, uh, possibly already reflecting the upcoming data release. Uh, we have seen some positive surprises already in Italy and Germany uh, earlier today, which means that the UK PMI can also possibly uh, can possibly surprise us to the upside as well. Uh, speaking about the potential market reactions after the data is published in some two minutes from now, uh, let's have a look at the previous reactions, which actually have been quite uh, decent, uh, 24 pips on average uh, during the last five months uh, since uh, August till December of the previous year. And in case we take uh, this average as the benchmark, we can place actually the take profit level already if we take into account the current trading level. Uh, the first take profit will be placed uh, just below 148 major level. Uh, which is the weekly pivot point and also the 4-hour R3 resistance line. And they will be reached in case we really have a positive surprise on the data, so in case the PMI rises much more than it is expected. Uh, also, in case we have a negative surprise uh, of, the, uh, of the data for the UK manufacturing PMI, we can see the pair declining down possibly to the 1.47 a 50 area, which is uh, reinforced by the daily pivot point right now. Uh, so, uh, since I have just 50 seconds to go, let me mention the technical indicators for the cable, which are, by the way, also pointing to the upside at the moment, and they uh, suggest that the pair will uh, increase in value in the very uh, near term. Uh, so, we have for now some 25 seconds left until the data will finally be published in the chat section. I will remind you that the expectation for the UK manufacturing PMI is positive at 52.8 points, up from 52.7 points in November. So just a slide expectation for an increase in the, in the PMI indicator. So let's just wait for the numbers to come in and let's have a look at the initial market reaction from the cable, uh, which is negative and it, is, it seems to be logical because the actual manufacturing PMI disappointed. Uh, it declines to 51.9 points in December, down from 52.7 points in November, and it, it is a miss uh, because... Uh, uh, because everyone expected the indicator to uh, to pick up, and we also have had a revision of the November date slightly to the downside. Uh, therefore, it makes sense that the initial market reaction from the cable is uh, bearish because it's negative surprise, and the overall reaction in the past minute has been 20 pips uh, to the downside, so it pretty much uh, matches the average. Uh, reaction of the previous five uh, five months. 
Uh, okay, I guess that for now that will be all from my side also on the technical uh, part for this particular data release. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you all a great uh, week, the first uh, trading week of this year. Uh, and uh, yes, see you soon. Back to you, Pelina. Thank you, Max. Uh, thank you, News Release. <laughs> thank you, everyone, who. I participated. Hope it was useful for some of you. And back to Forex Speakers webinar on weekly uh, COD report and Ishimaku analysis. Thank you and see you very soon.